Hey there, welcome to my channel. It's been a minute or two, so I decided I was going to make a concertina book. And so I've got all of these painty papers that are my under papers, and sometimes when I've got too much paint, squeezed out too much paint, I'll just clean it off. I'll use a stamp, or I'll just paint some stuff, or make some, you know, little marks on there. Uh, I've made a lot of homemade stamps. Anyway, this is a piece of, uh, I think it's like Bristol paper, <clears throat> And so I'm going to fold it in half lengthwise and then in half again. And again, I'm going to bring those edges to that fold. So this is either called a concertina or an accordion book because that's what it's shaped like. And so get a nice crease going on there and then turn it around and bring it back, the edges back to the, that middle fold. Now folding it lengthwise. And uh, so this is going to be a junk journal. Uh, that I've seen uh, several of these on TikTok and on uh Instagram. I'm going to fold it in half crossways. So, you know, uh, it's going to have this middle fold and then two more folds exactly the way we did the lengthwise. Move those out of the way so they're not distracting. I've got a stack of those painty papers. It's like, what am I going to do with these? They're too good to throw away. They kind of make me happy looking at them. Anyway, this will be a junk journal and I'll come back in and use some of my other painty papers and jelly prints and marble papers and some of my words and stuff. Uh, so I'm going to fold that to that center fold one more time and then crease that really well. Do it again. And I've done these in a much smaller version. They call those a little zine, and they're cut just a little bit differently. But this one, I really like this one because it's going to go with a zine. Sometimes you lose some of that, uh, the other side of the paper, you glue those surfaces together. With this, we'll have a front and a back. I mean, so I will be able to work one side and then turn it around or turn it over and work the other side. So now I decide, do I want my pages to be lengthwise like that, or do I want them to be, you know, like more like a portrait orientation? And I think I'm going to go with the portrait orientation. So that's going to determine my cut. So open this back out. And because I want that portrait orientation, I'm going to cut the crossways, not the length, not the longest fold, but the shortest fold all the way from one side to the other. If you just watch it, it'll make sense. I'm going to cut all three of these pieces and uh, then I had to decide how I was going to join the pages because they're all going to go together in one long length. And so like, do I want to use paper to join them? Do I want to use tape to join them? And I decided that I think that I really would like to join it together with fabric. So my, my tape was only like masking tape, and I didn't want to take the time to like do some painty, you know, masking tapes and stuff like that. And I've got some really cool batik fabric and this really neat splattered fabric that I bought uh, a while back that I've been waiting for just the right opportunity to use it. And I think this is going to be it. So one more cut. And then I'll figure, do I, you know, which pages do I want to put together? Which, and does it really matter? I don't think at this point, because the papers are so messy looking, I don't think it's really going to matter which one I put it at which end. Just a little bit more. With my little concertina book, uh, I decided instead of taping the pages together that I would stitch them together because I like sewing, you know. And so I found this batik fabric that I've had for a while and I stitched it close to the seam where I joined the book with the pages. And then I'll take this really, I got this in Weatherford not too long ago. I thought I've been waiting to use this piece of fabric. It's so fun. And I didn't splatter it. Uh, but isn't that cute? And so what I'll do is I will put it in place and I'll turn it from this side so I can stitch back along so I can know where my seam is. So I'm going to go to the sewing machine and uh, stitch these on. So this, these two lines were my first stitches. Then I lined up the splatter fabric. And then I went back and stitched it from the top so I could know that that's where my stitches were. And then I went ahead and did two more rows of stitching just to press her foot width. I think that worked out pretty good. 
I cut off my sore. Oh well. It'll be alright. I think this is pretty cute the way this turned out. So this will be one side, like if I'm looking at it from here. That's one side of the book. That's the other side of the book. You can work in these pages. I love that splatter fabric. Turn it around. Work this side. There's the batik. Yeah, I think I like it with the fabric. I haven't tried it with the tape, but I may do one with the tape. Now to make some covers for this, the front and back cover. And I'll be using my painty paper towels to make the cover. It'll be fun. So fun.